Stems playing with all kind of confidence right now. Tapo knocks down a three, and how about Northwestern? Northwestern living behind the arc. That's going to the other the corner. The end result was a pass in a press row. 8.30 remaining in the first half. Northwestern making their threes. Apple goes up top in the lob for Costello. Beautifully done. apple has been so good. I think he's been the best player for this Michigan State team. Arguably the best player in the conference. Just having a great year. He's got a number of 20.7 assist games. He's got four. The rest of the conference combined has four of those games. And we give him a lot of credit, too. Appling to Northwestern trying to pull off the biggest upset of the year. If they could beat number four, Michigan State. And they're hanging tough. Here's Kaminsky for three, knocks it down. Picks up right where he left off against the Gophers. I mean, he's in there. Scott Report is out. Everybody knows what he wants to do. Appling's got Crawford. That's a tough matchup for him now. He needs a little help there. Crawford backs him down. And Crawford with the jump hook. Easy as it gets. Putting together a great career. And Chris Collins saying that was his first real recruiting success. Yeah. First basket for Alex Gauna. Averages just shy of two points a game. Doesn't play much. There's another steal. Turnover for Northwestern. Dawson up ahead. Kicks it to Valentine. And a hard foul. And no whistle. That's hard to not pick up the foul there. Abrahamson knocks a three down. So no whistle on one end and a three-pointer made on the other. Kale Abrahamson knocks it down. Izzo wants an explanation. Well, he's right in Denzel Valentine's face. Take a look at the three-pointer now off of that. No call on the other end. Nice job by Abrahamson just to get to the corner. They're down three. To save the the flow of this game has screeched to a halt. I think Mike Kitts realizes as well. He's trying to speed it back up. Going up top. And Costello missed the lob. Went right through his hands. Shot clock at nine. They'll try it again. Costello to reverse. Redeems himself. Yeah, that's a tough play there by Costello. So he wanted the lob the second time. He wanted another chance. Didn't get it. Rebound out of it. Such a good offensive rebounding team for Michigan State. Gary Harris leads Michigan State in scoring the night with 10. Let's a three go. Another air ball. Offensive board, however. Kaminsky, Harris to the basket. And it goes. And a free throw coming for Gary Harris. How frustrating that has to be for Chris Collins. As a coach, trying to put your players in a position to defend all the sets that Michigan State runs. Nice call to go to the zone. Then you give up on an air ball. The toughest of all shots to rebound. Give up an offensive rebound. Nice job by Harris with the finish and one. Clock expires. A defensive possession for Northwestern. Oh, lost the turnaround. Has it pinned by Dawson. And he comes away with it. And he's going to run the fast break. And Dawson will put the free throw line. Some kind of athlete right there. Well, that's why everybody talks about just being active. Because when you're active and you're Brandon Johnson, you can do stuff like this. I mean, create enough separation that you're able to jump up, get the block, come down, force the action, get to the free throw line. Johnson 